Welcome to a children's moment. Hello, my name is Chuck Wersbinski, and I'm with the Mosinee United Methodist Church. And I'd like to welcome all those who are young, or young at heart, to check this out. This past Sunday, Pastor Gail read from the book of Matthew, and she read a story about Jesus and one of his disciples named Peter. And I'm going to read a little bit about that story to you today. Um, it started out on Thursday, which we call Holy Thursday, which was the day before Jesus died on a cross. And that night, Jesus said to his disciples, Tonight, all of you will desert me. And then to Peter, he said to Peter, The truth is, this very night before the rooster crows, you will deny me three times. So the rooster crows when the sun comes up, right? So Jesus is saying that, Peter, you're going to pretend you don't even know me three times tonight. And then right after he said that, Jesus was arrested and carried away. And then they took Jesus to a trial. And I'm going to read about what happened on the way, on, while that, oh, they were taking Jesus on the way to that trial. Later, Peter awaited outside where the, where, Later, Peter waited outside the place where Jesus was on trial. A girl saw Peter and said, He's a friend of Jesus. He's in trouble too. Peter wanted to help his friend, but he was scared. So he pretended he didn't even know Jesus. I don't know him, Peter said. And here's a picture of that girl pointing at Peter saying, That's him. That's him. That's the man that was with Jesus. Now, Peter did that three more times that night. And when the cock, the rooster, crowed the next morning when the sun came up was the third time when, when Peter said, I don't know him. And there's a picture of the rooster that crowed in the morning. So, Peter said three times, I don't know him. I don't know him. He, his lie made him feel even worse inside. Peter ran away. He cried and cried. Peter felt so sad for Jesus. Peter felt very, very sorry. But Jesus knew that Peter loved him. Jesus knew that Peter was his friend. That's why he had given Peter such a special job. Jesus had told Peter that he would be the rock upon which he would build the church. He would be the leader of the church. He told many, many people, Peter did after that, that his best friend Jesus, I know him, I know him, I know him. Peter told everyone, and that was the truth. So what I'm, kids, what I, what I want to tell you today is, Peter was very sorry, and, he, and Jesus, that next day, forgave Peter for, for pretending that he didn't know him. And literally, Jesus died on the cross the next day, and he not only forgave Peter for what Peter did, but he forgave all of us for all our sins. And, and that's, kids, what I want to try to bring home to you guys today is sometimes there's going to be friends of yours that maybe aren't going to be nice to you, or somebody's going to do something that hurts you, and you're going to be mad at them and upset and what would you do if that friend came to you and, and then said, I'm sorry, will you please forgive me? Would you really forgive that person? I'm kind of hoping you would, because we know Jesus would forgive them. So I guess I'm just asking to think about it. The next time somebody says they're sorry, give them another chance and forgive them. Let's bow our heads and pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for the beautiful story today we read about forgiveness. And please help us to learn to forgive others as well. In your heavenly name, we pray, amen.